Fire away. Who wants to get started? It's an incredible event. 1,800 people tonight, and, and just to have a chance to uh, to really take a, a significant step in the, in the battle for, uh, against cancer, I, I think, it speaks volumes to the power that our program can have, and in particular, men's basketball has here at the University of Illinois, and just the way that it has grown over the years. He's reflecting with Brad just a minute ago about the first time we did this together back after we hired him. We were in a small ballroom and just to see it grow the way that it has and the, the way the community responds. It's incredible. How much this year mean to you basketball wise? We didn't run. What did you make of that ride? For Can we wait for him to talk? Okay. Uh, incredibly excited, obviously, about the season. Uh, to see us be able to make the, the postseason run that, that we've all wanted our, our team to make here and, and to be able to put all the pieces together and it, it, it's just been so exciting certainly for me for our program i know for our fans i'll never forget the energy that we saw out in boston the great turnout uh, from the illini faithful and not only there but also in omaha and in minneapolis it just speaks volumes i think about the quality of this program Again, give, give our guys so much credit to Coach Underwood, our staff, so much credit. It's, it's really been uh, an incredible journey and one that's been a lot of fun for us to be honest. So much news about the transfer portal right now, obviously. Everybody's got a, a view on it. What, what, what's kind of your take on the, on the whole thing? Yeah, uh, you know, I think mean, the transfer portal in, in general, I think mean, the University of Illinois is, is always going to be a net beneficiary of the transfer portal. I've been mean, given our program profile given the place that we occupy in college athletics I, I, I think that we are going to be an attractive destination because of the coaches we have because of the facilities we provide the resources that we furnish to our student athletes uh, and, and i think it puts our student athletes even those who depart i think it puts them in an informed position to make to make decisions about their future because if they want to stay and earn a university of illinois education then they have that opportunity of ultimately getting more playing time or playing a more prominent role on their respective teams is a priority for them, then they're in a position to make that decision from an informed basis and, and capitalize on what the, the transfer portal, the opportunity it provides to them. Josh, how would you classify the status of the student athlete conduct policy based on everything that happened with Terrence and what happened in Springfield? I, I think Every spring as we as we wrap up the year, we take the opportunity to evaluate everything that happened over the course of that year. We look at a number of our policies. I expect we'll do that again this spring, just as we have each year that I've been here. Uh, and, and we'll take into consideration whether we need to make any changes, not only to that policy, but to a number of different policies. I, I think we'll probably have more information on that that we can share potentially when we get together for our event in June. Okay. When you were very... I would say that that whole experience is obviously unfortunate on a lot of different levels. Uh, we understand the seriousness of, of the allegation of charges. Uh, there's some people very much in the center of that. And, need to continue to be at the center of that. Uh, but I, I think that as we reflect back on it, it's incredibly difficult for everybody who was involved, including our athletic department. Uh, but I'm, I'm uh, comfortable with how we handled it. And, and uh, we look forward to, as we do with everything that we do, learning from it and, and moving forward. The women, women's basketball team won the initial um, NIT, if you will, tournament. Or what's your thoughts on that? Is, it, is that a good stepping stone for the uh, program? Yeah, the WBIT, the first, the first tournament of its kind, the NCAA is sponsored and supported, uh, really encouraged by the progress that our women's basketball team has, has shown during the first few years of Shauna's tenure. Uh, I think that for us to be able to get into the NCAA tournament in her first year, now to be able to get into the WBIT and, and win that tournament, I think both of those instances demonstrate tremendous progress from women's basketball and 
give uh, Coach Green, our staff, our student athletes so much credit for the way that they've bought in and, and really aligned around what's possible here uh, with University of Illinois women's basketball, and I expect it will be a, a springboard for us as we head into the offseason. Josh, will you do you sit down with with Coach Bielema post spring before they hit fall camp? Is that something you typically do, or um, well, Coach and I are in regular contact. We talk literally almost every okay. day. Okay, is there? How would you categorize this upcoming, you know, end of spring and then you know fall camp for, for the program right now? Uh, I, I think you know, I'm, I'm excited about the, the state of the program. I, I think that we've made tremendous progress this off season. I think we're having a really strong spring football. I, I think one of the the byproducts of making a deep run in men's and women's basketball is there hasn't been as much public attention paid to what is happening within the football program, but I, I, I think that for people who are, are following it on a daily basis, there's a lot to be excited about. Uh, just this week, we surpassed 3,000 new season tickets sold for, for this season. We're within a couple hundred season tickets of the total that we sold all of last year with the rest of the spring and the summer yet to, fall, yet to sell. Um, so I, I think our fans are excited about it. I, I, I'm just so enthusiastic about Coach B's leadership and, and the guys that, that uh, we have within the program. Looking forward to the fall. Um, I'm sorry, not following the question. And I hope they don't want to see some of the answers. Yes. Are there other areas that it could impact that maybe you can do? I know we were talking about two years ago at this time. I wouldn't be surprised if there are. I, 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 I don't know as I sit here what those things might be, but, but certainly um, NIL is evolving at a really rapid pace, and, and I think that the, the implications of the NIL paradigm are continuing to reveal themselves to us uh, on, a, on a pretty regular basis at this point. So, um, certainly, it, it did play a role uh, for, for the judge and, and parents' situation. Um, and I, I don't. I, mean, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it continues to be an important part of college athletics in, in new and unanticipated ways.